Hello guys and welcome to Trace Tainment. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss none of the videos that I post. Today's video, you know, I get online and I see all this stuff that Vice President Kamala Harris, she's doing this, she's speaking here, she's speaking here, everything's going good. Well, she was asked a question by a reporter and I want you guys to let me know in the comment section, how was her response? Check this clip out. So yesterday you called out Assad Trophy, one of the uh, elected uh, yeah. officials here in Arab American. He's faced a tremendous backlash since you uh, mentioned his name at the rally. Um, and obviously there's a lot of uh, churn and, and turmoil within the Arab American and Muslim communities here in Michigan. Do you think you could lose the election because of Gaza? And what, you know, overnight... Um, there were more strikes, 32 more people were killed in Gaza, mm. some in hospitals. Um, you know, how risky is it that you could lose the election? Well, it is undeniable that uh, it is something that everyone is aware of what is happening there. I speak publicly all the time about the fact that uh, there are so many tragic stories coming from Gaza and, of course, the first in this phase of everything that has happened, the first most tragic story um, is October 7, and what happened that day, and then what has happened since. And I think what's critically important as we look at this moment is one, acknowledging the tragedy of what has happened in Gaza in terms of the... All right, do you guys know what she said or like what she is trying to say? Because like, I, I couldn't like, click or just picture what she was trying to explain it's like the words just felt like they were just getting like mixed up i was trying to get a better understanding of what she was saying but it's just like to me nothing was like i didn't really understand what she was trying to get us to understand like my mind is like trying to just turn and just get an understanding and i can't extraordinary number of innocent palestinians have been killed and taking that seriously and speaking truth about that. In addition, of course, to what I said about what happened on October 7 in terms of 1,200 innocent Israelis being slaughtered, women being horribly raped. And then fast forwarding to today with the killing of Sinwar, uh, this creates an opening that I believe we must take full advantage of to dedicate ourselves to ending this war and bringing the hostages home. But it's not working so far. You know what, listen, as it relates to the issues in the Middle East and in particular in that region, it has never been easy. But that doesn't mean we give up, okay? It is always gonna be difficult. It does not mean we give up, we can't give up. All right, so I understood a little bit at the end to what she was saying, but I, I, I can't click anything else that was being said previously. I mean, I, I'm sorry if I'm wrong and somebody might have a better understanding of what she was trying to get to, but I just literally could not click in my head what she was trying to say. It's like she used to, she went on this, then it just went to this and then this date. And I'm like, what are you trying to say? Like, what are you trying to get us to understand? But I also want you guys to check out this clip because this, if you haven't heard or seen about this, this will shock you. Check this clip out. He was giving a speech and um, several individuals, young people yelled out, we believe for pro-life purposes, Jesus is Lord. And this is how she responded. We remember Donald Trump hand selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with, with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade and they did as he intended. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. Mm. No, I think you meant to go to the smaller one down the street. Mm -hmm. All right, so that moment we brought to you yesterday. Mm -hmm. Today, we'd like to bring in those students who yelled that out to Kamala Harris, the two pro-life students university, at the University of Wisconsin La Crosse, both juniors, uh, Luke Pulaski and Grant Beth join us now. Luke, Grant, thanks for being with us this morning. Um, Luke, I'll start with you. Just take us into that moment. What, what happened yesterday? We see the video clip. Is there anything more you can tell us about 
what you guys had to say and what happened afterwards from that video. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's great to be here. Um, I'd say the first thing uh, I want to bring up, this is our first time taking an interview with anybody, and I think it's important because this is our raw, like, untold story. There's a lot that happened, that, lot that happened off camera uh, that we said at the protest, and, or, well, while we were protesting. And I guess we could start off with, when she, after she talked about overturning Roe v. Wade and Donald Trump, I yelled out to the crowd that abortion is the sacrament of Satan. And when I said that, I deeply do believe that as a Christian. And about 10 seconds go by, and that's when the video of uh, my friend Grant and I uh, proclaiming that Christ is Lord and Jesus is King uh, when we said that. And I think it's important to say this is a small venue, and we were about 20 to 30 yards away from Kamala at this point. There's a lot of controversy that says she wasn't talking to us, or we left, we didn't get kicked out. Well, I can speak on Grant and I's behalf um, on video. Grant's getting pushed and shoved. For things like this to happen, it literally just blows my mind. Like me, I feel like the rally should always, always be about joy, having a good time, connecting with people, and letting them know what you're gonna bring to the table and change, and how it's gonna benefit them, their families, and the people around. And um, there's about five seconds after or before she tells us to go to the smaller rally down the street, you can see on the video she waves. She waves. She was actually waving to me. I uh, took this cross off my neck that I wear, and as we were getting asked to leave, um, I held it up in the air and waved at her and pointed to her, and she looked directly in the eye, kind of gave me an evil smirk. Mm. And, um, yeah, I just want to clear that up and confirm that she 100% was talking to us. Mm -hmm. And there's other controversy that says we left, um, we were getting shouted at, pushed, assaulted, um, screamed at. So we were walking away, but there was about three um, attendees there, volunteers that kicked us out with press with badges or whatever they had. And I specifically remember this one man saying, you were uninvited and unwelcome to this event. You need to leave. And all they did was walk us out the door. They didn't tell us why. No cops escorted us out. Uh, no secret service. And uh, yeah, that's our story. So so wh where was this event held exactly? Uh, this was held in our University of Lacrosse's gym. So, so did you, uh, did you pay tuition only... to go to the university? Uh, I do I do pay tuition to go to the school, but this was a free event. Um, this is in a really small venue. They only said there's about 2,500 people there, which when she told us to go to a smaller rally down the street, I didn't really think that for a political rally there could be smaller than 2,500 people. But, but... You, you were allowed to be there. <laughs> You mean you paid to be there? Yes, right? correct. Yeah. Correct. Grant, I want to get your point of view from there. So <clears throat> is, is there anything you want to add to Luke's story? And and what did it feel like? I mean, she basically said, you said, you said or Grant said something about, uh, or Luke said something about Jesus, right? Jesus is king. Jesus is Lord. And she said, you're not welcome here. I mean, I want to know what you felt in that moment and if there's anything you want to add to his story. First of all, thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Charlie, for having us. Um, you know, we are very blessed to be here. Um, we are very blessed to speak on the national stage. Um, it's important that we get our message out um, in any way possible. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, we didn't really intend on, you know, going at any people. Um, people online were calling us mega fascists. Um, that was never our intention um, going to this rally. Um, we were only here to protest our faith, and um, we did so. Um, we never expected this to grow as large as it was. Um, essentially, she was speaking, and we decided to say Christ is King, Jesus is Lord. Um, and we got a lot of backlash. Um, as you can see in that firsthand video, um, I was pushed uh, by an elderly woman. Um, we were heckled at. We were cursed at. Um, we were mocked. Um, and that's the biggest thing for me personally, um, in reflection of the event, um, Jesus was mocked, uh, you know, <laughs> his disciples were mocked, um, and that's okay. In reality, we did God's work and we were there for the right reasons. Um, and God is watching. Wow. So I know that had to have been a crazy experience to experience something like that at the rally, but at the end of the day, I want to just say this everybody we have to just get along like we really just have to get along i mean we can set differences aside no matter race
no matter uh, gender, none of that stuff matter. At the end of the day, we are all human. We're supposed to be here to care for one another, to love one another, to support one another, to help one another. There is so much that's dividing all of us for no reason at all. Listen, we can have different beliefs. We can not like something and you can like something. But at the end of the day, as long as we can all come to the same table, eat a meal, that's what it's all about. Let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comment section. That'll be a wrap for today's video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.